The evidence room at DEA headquarters in Chicago, so jammed with drug gear and guns that the agency is expanding its storage facility. On the streets, nearly all drug dealers come locked and loaded, a concern for the federal agents and their new leader, who says it's a reality that keeps him up at night. Almost everyone they encounter when it comes time for arrest has a gun. Bell is a suburban Chicago native who since 1995 has wound his way up the Drug Enforcement Administration before his latest appointment as the special agent in charge here. This is a huge uh, transshipment point for drugs where drugs come in in large volumes and then are disseminated or distributed across the Midwest. Pioneered by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Sinaloa cartel, but with Chapo's sons now running things, Bell admits it's only become worse here. I think we need to acknowledge truthfully that there's more fentanyl available on the streets now than there was in the past. There is more methamphetamine available in northern Illinois and across the Chicago D Division in Indiana and Wisconsin than in the past. So I think that's our starting point. And Chicago is such a mega hub for Mexican heroin and methamphetamines, cartel cocaine, fentanyl and marijuana, that Bell says now two major drug organizations are feeding the area. Sinaloa splitting the market with Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion, CJNG, known here as the New Generation Cartel. Taking off the head, uh, the leader, that's important, but it doesn't stop the entire organization from moving and we need to attack the organizations coherently. That means going after this man, Nemesia Cervantes. They call him El Mencho. With a $10 million bounty on his head, El Mencho is unofficially the DEA's most wanted kingpin. Does the DEA think that he's hiding in a cave as has been written recently? You know, I think depending what what's going on and, and what the, he sees as his risks, risks to himself, uh, he'll hide wherever he needs to, but unfortunately, uh, traffickers are able to move around Mexico fairly freely. So I think it's a little, mi little bit hit and miss on where they are on any given day. Sometimes they're enjoying life and enjoying everything that the greed and money provides. Most troubling for Bell and his agents, Mexican drug labs that once processed cocaine, then methamphetamines, are now being converted to fentanyl production. He says testing done in this DEA Chicago lab shows that the deadly painkiller now laces 70% of all heroin sold here. And that's my number one concern. The number one thing that bothers me and is DEA's priority is reducing the number of drug overdose deaths. I mean, that's what troubles me most. How can competing cartels carving up the Chicago drug market coexist peacefully? In Mexico, they can't, killing each other by the thousands each month. Bob Bell says the two cartels supplying Chicago 